Everybody just they find your own way on top of zinc. Since money, minutes we know even show fish. Since money. Wow. This country don't tire. Imagine the kind of situation we find ourselves in this country and this is the country and the cell we are on Nigeria. Please, I want you people to make this video viral, honestly. Please, let's save these people. Let's save them. It's starting gradually. According to them, you can hear from them that they said the military, the military have not come to intervene. Look at how the women, look at how children are climbing now. Look, look. And this is what they did to people's car. This is what has been happening in Sokoto, Aji Alima in particular, if you know the location. This is Aji Alima. This is what happened to people's car. They have been a lot of cars. They have been setting a lot of moto, chasing around people. This is what is happening in Aji Alima, Sokoto. Somebody please allow the military, the military forces. This is what is happening. They have destroyed the cars of people, chasing people with arms, with knives, with cotton. Now everybody is running for his dear life. Alima, Odeport, that's the area that you both are staying. They are going to Odeport, that's where we build houses. They are going to Tamaj, our children are at home. We are stuck. We are stuck. We are stuck. We are stuck. Nobody is helping us. We are stuck. We are stuck. Where is Nigeria government? Where is the soldiers? Where is the soldiers? We are stuck! Where is the government of this Sokoto state? We are stuck! We are stuck! We are stuck! Everywhere is born. We are stuck! Christianity is the religion of our parents. We need to to be born a Christian. We need to to be born a Christian. Where is the government of this town? We have seen videos of the properties destroyed businesses, churches, bonds, all of that. Now I'm asking, are we really want Nigeria where I cannot exercise my rights, when I cannot speak out, when somebody wrong, when I cannot freely express myself because someone else is going to get offended and the next is going to kill me for expressing myself. How can we be in our country? How can we be in our country and we are treated like a second class citizens in our country? We are treated like a second-class citizen in our country. I'm doing this video for the sake of peace. We want peace in our country, you know. For some days now, since, the, since this incident happened, I haven't been able to get myself or to think right or to really sleep well, you know. Just imagine how this young girl was killed. You know, a final year student, you know, all that she's been through. Just imagine me putting my child in the school, you know. Know that the way she died, you now begin to see the video where they were throwing stone on her, you know. How would you feel? I wasn't able to take the whole thing out of my mind, you know. That is why you see, whenever I see a video of it, I grab it, I go through it, I read it. Why? Because we are not safe in our country. We are not safe in Nigeria. We should tell ourselves the truth. We are not safe in this country. So my last question goes to us. Who is going to be responsible for the destruction of the churches, of the businesses, of the cars, and the, proper, and the properties that have been destroyed? Who is going to be responsible for it? And we are saying at this point, look at people. They have not seen... Mill they have not seen anybody coming to their aid. I'm just saying that if this thing were to happen in the eastern part of the country, don't you think the federal government would have deployed the soldiers in this country, the battalion, give it a name, and they would, they would deploy them to the east? Why are they not deploying the same soldier to the north as it is happen happening right now? Why are they not deploying the same soldier to the north as it is happening right now?